Okay, here we are at Kingfield, uh, very up and down, pulsating game again, excitement for all the fans going home, and I uh, woke him in 3-2, and I'm joined by the Woking keeper, Craig Ross. Yeah, yeah. Craig, that was a very up and down game, wasn't it? Yeah, just a little bit. Um, we don't want to see too many more of them this season. Uh, you know, we've been quite solid defensively um, at the minute, and yeah, disappointing to concede uh, two goals, but we get we're a threat going forward at the minute. We we are we're scoring goals as well, so they've sort of uh, got us out of jail today a little bit. Yeah, I mean you say a threat going forward. I mean we started really strongly, didn't we? I mean Sean had a fantastic strike, and then uh, and then there were some yeah great chances and 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 so on. So we looked to be on top at that time, didn't we? Yeah, I so said we we started okay. I thought again we looked a little bit a little bit flat in parts in the first half. Um, but like I said, we had a few good chances. Like I said, Sean at the post. Um, there's another one, a bit of a mix-up between Heidi and Cookie. Uh, which should have been a goal. Um, but yeah, we, like, we started well, and obviously we got put on the back foot then when, when, when they scored. But it was good character for, for us to come back and, and, and take the lead then. Yeah, they had a sort of 10-minute spell, didn't they, in that first half when they were moving it around really quite nicely and a couple of chances. And it, it was quite a nicely worked goal from them, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, we know the way they play. They play attractive looking football if you want to call it that um, you know they, they try and play and, and, and build from the back and the movement in midfield and stuff was quite good so um, it was yeah tough to deal with at times and they got themselves in some some good positions um, obviously you look at the goal defensively um, we like to think we could do better um, but it was, it was a good finish from the from the lad as well and what was said at half time what was the atmosphere in the change room like at half time um, yeah it wasn't wasn't the best to be fair um, like I said we just felt we were quite flat in the first half compared to how we have been playing um, just looked a little bit a little bit leggy a little bit sluggish um, and I could see it from from my end that we didn't look quite at it in the first half so you know we all had a word of each other at half time and the gaffer said his bits and you know, and Martin so um, but we knew if we could get one um, we could go on and win the game and uh, I'm sorry to interview you on the first game we can see two goals, but I mean, yeah, we went 2-1 uh, we up and it was quite unusual then to see us pegged back with a bit of a mix-up, wasn't it, the, the second goal? Yeah, obviously we look at it from a defensive point of view, it wasn't, it wasn't great. Um, but like I said, up to this point we've been very solid um, defensively and, that, and that's as, that as a team, not just a back, back four, back five. Um, we've all been working hard to, to keep clean sheets and, and not concede goals. Um, so it's a bit disappointing today that we've, you know, we made it a bit harder for ourselves than what we, we should have done. Um, and we've had we've had a lot of good chances at the other end as well to score. Their keepers made some good saves. Um, but yeah, we just made it a bit more difficult for ourselves than what we uh, would have liked. And what's been interesting in the last few games is probably the stereotype the stereotype of a Woking team earlier in the season was oh they're all huge and it's long ball today wasn't that at all it was a lot a lot more played on the ground wasn't it, it was a lot more yeah football if you like yeah i think we um we can mix it we can mix it both ways i think which is credit to us and, and the players we've got um we can play can play good football and we can be solid and, and go a bit bigger and a bit more direct if we have to um you know this league there's there's a lot of teams, uh, uh, big teams, and you have to go and compete and, and match them physically before you can start playing your football. So, um, no matter who's playing, if, we, if we're a big team or not such a big team, you know, we have to match them physically just with, with running and our work rate um, to allow us then to go and play our, our good football. And um, Toby obviously got a key goal midweek. It was nice to see another young player, Tyreek, go. I think it's probably his first working goal, wasn't it, today? And I think well taken header. Yeah, no, he's been brilliant since he's come in. He's, he's um, you know, he's a winger that, you know, he doesn't always have to beat someone. He can just work a, work half a yard and get his cross in. And his delivery and stuff has been, been top draw. He's got a couple of assists already, and it was a, yeah, it was a great header from him. No one probably expected him to score headers like that, but um, it was a great cross and so a great header coming in at the back post. And probably we have still, I think, got the best defensive record in the league, or certainly up there. And you know you're between the sticks. You got Sam breathing down your neck. But I mean to be top of the league. I mean, well, the spirit in the whole club at the moment is very high. I mean, no one's getting carried away, and we all know it can change very quickly. But enjoying it game by game and just yeah, enjoying the ride really. Yeah, see, we're on a good run at the minute. Um, obviously, if anyone would have um, 
offered me this at the start of the season then you'd have uh, everyone have bitten the round off um but it's just credit to how hard we've been working and you know we're, we're, we're quite enjoying um upsetting a few people you know there's you hear words going around about people talking about us and everyone's expecting the bubble to burst and you know we just got to keep proving these people wrong um like i said there's a long way to go yet no one's getting carried away we're sort of taking it the old cliche taking it game by game um but if we can you know keep to the standards that we've set so far going forward then then we'll be all right and final question i mean last year every game there was pressure to win and we were expected to win this year we're going into every game underdogs yeah. and uh and as you say that is that in some ways a little bit easier um i don't know you still have to still have to beat who's put in front of you i think maybe last season in the league we were in you know teams coming here and teams playing against woking we we're probably like some talk here probably the biggest clubs in the league last season so you're probably a bit of a scout for people before you've even started whereas say this year going into games underdogs most of the time which again we're we're fine with that let, let people say we're underdogs and we'll just keep proving people wrong brilliant well we're all enjoying that as well the fans are enjoying it and really appreciating the spirit of the team so well done on your own performances this season and uh well done to the team and uh on to Torquay yeah,